short video of the RV before I sell it. Um, and I wanted to show before I take my stuff out how I traveled and some of the changes I've made. Uh, first change was I painted it and that was really easy to do and could easily be changed. So the front space up here is pretty comfortable to travel in. And of course everything here is not included like the dog. stuff handy from be able to reach up front. Um, down there I stored shoes. I think I could fit about 10 pair in there. And this seat here has a seat belt. Um, I never used it for that but great place to store stuff on. Uh, this curtain here is insulated. I put that in and it goes all the way across. And then the bed um, it comes with uh, cushions all the way across, which makes queen size. Um, I took the back cushions out and I sleep on the front. And then I had like four underbed storage containers back there and some other containers on top of that, which I just found I didn't need that, that much storage. Um, the storage up here, I kept tools and sewing things and electronics and thing. Um, up here I could, um, this is just miscellaneous and uh, first aid. And then the entryway here, I discovered you can just take a, a regular doormat, cut it in half and it fits there. That bungee there, um, I, it comes around and it hooks right here. I use that to bungee in um, my camp chair and my clam tent. And then I added in this storage, these storage containers here, which makes it handy to have things right by the doorway. And then um, the dinette, it folds out into a, a bed, which I just kind of used to lounge on sometimes curtains I made so that I wanted something that, um, you know, I wanted to be able to see outside and see the scenery but have a little bit of privacy and that's worked out really well. This uh, has been a big hit. Everyone loves this. It's just a um, adhesive piece that I put on there. You can get them at, at um, Home Depot and it's removable. Um, it's black underneath there, so, but I'll leave that. And then storage up above here. Uh, I keep my clothes in there. Uh, you can fit a lot of clothes in those things. Uh, crafts and games and that basket and then books. And then this curtain here. We put this in so that I'd have um, some be able to have some privacy to, you know, change uh, and not have to squeeze into the bathroom. In the bathroom, I put a, a mirror on the front of it, in the door. A hook on the door for a towel, and I highly recommend Turkish towels. They just, they dry really well. Put that uh, uh, storage rack thing there. Um, I put in a garbage, uh, the medicine cabinet. I put in some, I got these plastic containers to keep the stuff from falling forward. And then I um, hang my clothes in here. There is a closet that was meant to hang with clothes, but I changed that into a pantry and I'll show you that. Um, and then I've um, got this bamboo 
mat that keeps your feet dry when it's wet down there from the shower. And then I did get um, this other storage thing for more stuff. And then the shower curtain that comes across the doorway. And then I'll get a shot of the kitchen. The, the fridge, I changed the front of the fridge. I got this, um, I wanted something magnetic, so I took the wood piece out and it can just slide in and out. And I, I got this, I cut this um, sheet metal to go on there so I could put my magnets. And then this basket is magnetic. And then get lots of stuff inside. I don't have it very, I probably have about it, about half half the spools it could go. And then freezer fits a lot. And then in the kitchen I installed that bar there. And I found this cutting board that fits over the two burner propane stove to make more counter space. And then there's just drawers down here. I can fit quite a bit underneath there. And then I did put, I, I got this receptacle to put kitchen scraps in. And the sink is really big. I like to wash my hair in the sink. Um, I got a banana hook. Berkey filters um, secured to the wall. Really great dish rack, I highly recommend. And then I put in a the towel, paper towel rack, and the the knife uh, set there. And then the lights, um, I got some amber wax at, and a wax paper. I'm trying to can't really see, but. I, on one side of the light, I put the wax paper so that, because I don't really like the bright LED. And then there's like eight of these lights in, in the camper. And um, so I put that on one side and then when you turn it on all the way, it has the LED, the bright LED on the other side. And then lots of storage up here. And my favorite kitchen piece is that it's a stovetop pressure cooker that works really great so that you don't use as much fuel. And then I have an induction stove cooktop that I use when I'm plugged in. Um, this is the pantry. And there's some drawers down here. pantry. That's where the induction top is and the instant pot that I use when I have power. That blender there works really well. Um, it's a USB blender. It just It's rechargeable. And then this is what we, my dad put these shelves in so I could have pantry, more pantry items. Um, I could fit like 10 cans back in there. And then I use lots of spices, so I put these spice holders up. You can put supplements and vitamins and stuff in there too. Okay, and I think I think that's it. Um, I'll take more photos uh, once I get my stuff out, and then I'll do some photos of the the outside as well.